but we just need to get right into what this actually is today. This is the power of no. And if you're anything like me, you've lived a lot of your life as a yes person. Uh, if you're into human design at all, if you have an unidentified G center, then you are always sort of looking elsewhere for your identity. Therefore, you're saying yes to all of the things around you to help bring definition in your life. And here's the thing too. Oftentimes we say yes to an opportunity that's at hand, really because there's kind of a fear in the background that another opportunity is not going to come that we can only see as far as where we're at today. And we look around at all the opportunities that we have and we think that those are our only options. And so we say yes, we say yes to opportunities that may not really be for us because we think that that is all there is. We think that no more opportunities are gonna be coming around the corner. We fall into an illusion that this is the only set of connections and network that I have and will ever have. And it's simply not true. And so the power of no signals to the divine, signals to the universe that I don't like the way that this was deck, this, this deck was shuffled. I don't, I, don't, I don't like the hand that's dealt right now. Reshuffle it, send me something else. And whenever you have the power to say no, to say, nah, I appreciate it, but this really isn't all it. And you're able to just think about it a little bit more and not be so quick to give your yeses away. God will reshuffle the deck and give you another hand to play and say, here, how does this one work for you? And so no is the confidence of saying more opportunities are coming and on the way. I don't have to be boxed in and limited to what is right now. I know that more things will be coming as soon as tomorrow. And it becomes this sort of optimistic thing. Because then if we have the confidence to say no, we open ourselves up to what wants to be revealed to us. And we live with a sort of optimistic expectancy then that there is always new and good things coming. Because a lot of times we say yes out of a scarcity mindset, right? If I don't grab it now, it might be gone forever. And that is not the abundance of the universe. That does not match the pattern of the benevolent divine presence. And so if we cling to, with our yeses, all of the things that we know are not necessarily for us, then we will not have a yes to give whenever that opportunity then comes. More on that at a future note in just a moment. Don't want to get ahead of myself here. But no creates confidence. No says that I believe more opportunities will come. No says that I know who I am and I know what my gift is to give. Hmm. The ability to say no affirms that I know who I am and I know what my gifts are to give. Because whenever we say yes to something that isn't really right for us, we begin to get this friction happening. And it's because we're a round peg trying to fit in a square hole or a square peg trying to fit in a round hole. I don't know how that whole thing goes. But the point is, is there's friction around that because it's something that isn't moving in harmony. And when things don't, don't move in balance and in harmony, it creates friction. It creates discord. And so whenever we end up doing things that we know are not in our gift mix, we can set ourselves up to absolutely deal with friction and frustration and agitation and bitterness. And it can actually ruin the relationship, not only that we have with others, but with ourselves. Because every time that we say yes to gifts and opportunities and things that actually aren't our gifts to give, we betray ourselves. When we give into the non-self out of our scarcity, out of our fear, out of our uh, insecurity of who we are and what could be coming, thinking that this is all that there is, we betray the truth that is within us. 
And each and every one of us, we are here to come to the awakening of who we are and our unique gifts, skills, abilities, aptitude that wants to flow out of that true self as the divine in the world. That we each contribute to the ongoing healing of the world. And if we don't exercise the power of no, we will be subject to everyone else's agenda. Because everyone else has an agenda for you. And it's conditioned us so much that even our own inner critic, our own inner analyst has its own agenda for us that we think this agenda is what is good and right for us when it's really just an adaptation of all of the stuff that we have allowed to form and shape that agenda from the outside. But whenever we have the ability to say no to the agenda from the outside that has created this sort of false agenda within us, when we have the ability to say no to all of the things that are not for us, that don't line up with our giftings, with our skills, that don't line up with the identity, with the values, with the character of who we are, when we can say no to all of that, then we have the full ability and full range to experience and to exercise and to really bring out all of those things that are within us that are true for us. And we will feel the alignment that comes with that. We will feel it. When we learn to say no to the other's agenda, then we have the full range of freedom to say yes to our own that is within us, that is seeking to simply come out of us in balance and in harmony. And here's the other thing too, just a side note on that. We've become so disillusioned that if it isn't difficult or hard, that it must not be the right work to do in the world. And it's so interesting that we've bought into this lie. What if exactly who you are and what you're supposed to be doing is easy? Because it's in such balance and harmony that the friction has dissolved. That's how you know whenever you're living in tune with your true yes. And all of the fear and all of the lack and all of the scarcity is preventing us from the full realization of what is deeply seeking to emerge. And we will only get down to that if we learn the power of no. I will not bow to fear or desire, but I will understand the love and the service that wants to come in me, through me, and as me in the world for healing and wholeness and beauty and creativity. When we learn the power of no, then we're able to align to the true pattern of our design. Oh yeah, here's another one too. It's really good. The power of no weeds out the controllers and the manipulators. And this kind of goes back to that point about the agenda. It's kind of getting on a roll there. But that everyone else has an agenda for you. But let it be known, there are people that want you and want to harvest your gifts and skills for their own agendas and growth and fame. There are people that want to take all of that and strip you of all of those things that you have to contribute and shove the rest to the side. And that is control and manipulation. I was on the phone with a friend the other day, a couple weeks ago, and he was talking about how this is what shows up and we call it soul harvesting. There are soul harvesters. And many times they're completely, they're, they're completely lost in their own dream that they don't even realize that they are stealing from you. They don't even realize that they are taking your soul 
from you. And you have the ability to say no. No. You do not have to be controlled and manipulated. You do not have to have your soul harvested by people who just want things from you. Watch out for those people because they're out there. They are out there. And especially, again, human design, little plug, if you are a projector like myself, you're here to guide energy. You are here to bring wisdom to things from a different perspective. And there are people there that will take advantage of that and steal, kill, and destroy the true wisdom that is within us and manipulate it and coerce it into living into ways that it was never supposed to be. And when you exercise the power of no, you disarm and disable the manipulators and the controllers in your life. Now, here's the trip. For some of us, learning to say no will actually bring more of these people into your life. And learning to say no to certain opportunities that are not in tune for you will actually bring more opportunities that aren't in tune for you into your life. Why is this happening? This is happening because it's pruning who you are. This is happening because it is needed For you to be able to make the decisions to navigate the temptation of the yes will help you become more razor sharp on what you are and what you're here to do on who you are rather and what you're here to do. If you don't have this opportunity to say no to something, you'll never know what your yes is. Now, for some of you, maybe you're younger or someone who hasn't had many opportunities or experiences or, or ways of, of really learning what your gift is and who you are, you learn that by doing. And so I want to say too, to some of you, yeah, use some discernment. Don't put yourself in harm's way. Like don't give in to the manipulators and the controllers, but yeah, like sometimes you do need to try some certain things. Say yes to some certain things so you can refine the skill of no. Like say yes to something and then in two months say, yeah, I'm done with this now and move away from it. And even when somebody's looking at you like, no, we need you here. Say, no, I can't be here. And you move on from that. And it gives you this sort of confidence. Again, back to the first part. The confidence that comes with learning how to sharpen the no skill will give you the confidence in what everything is in your life that is to be sharpened and brought into focus. And so we're able to then give that in so much more of a crisp way. And it becomes not hazy and foggy, but actually really focused in a clear definition by practicing the art of no. So if you've not had many opportunities to say no is what I'm getting at. Find ways where you can learn to say no. Put yourself in a situation where you can say no. That will bring sharpness and definition. Oh, and I love this one too. And this sort of dovetails with it that no keeps you on your path. And really all of this culminates with the conclusion is that all of the no's that you have really put you in the place of aligned yeses. And if that could be the one sentence for this whole video, that would be it. The series of no's bring alignment to yes. And you'll have to go through experiences and times to really refine that. And I would suggest to really enter into the inner wisdom to cultivate the art of discernment so that you can begin to navigate all of these things with grace and with optimism. Because here's the thing, whenever you learn no, it really is a sign of maturity. It's a sign of self-discipline. It's a symbol of mastery to be able to have the confidence to say no. Because you know what your yes is. And when you know what your yes is, you can stay in the focused 
path that that is bringing you on. And you do not have to lie subject to be a victim to all of the other agendas and things. And I want to just say this, your inner wisdom, your body wisdom knows what true north is for you. When you say yes and you give authority to all these people around you, they begin to speak into your life trying to position you in certain ways and you know deep within you what is right for you. Anyone that you give authority to in your life is still only to a certain degree because the guru, the true guru, lives deep in you. Your inner wisdom, your body wisdom, your energetic field knows the truth that is within you. It knows the true yes. And whenever you listen to that, You're able to navigate with such grace. You're able to walk in such wisdom. You're able to love and have compassion for yourself and those around you in a way that you never would have been able to before by the manipulation of all the wrong places that you've said yes to. When you say no to those wrong places, you enter into the space of the aligned yes, and your body knows it vibrationally, you know this. And I just want to say with this whole yes and no thing, I feel like I've said that a million times in this video, but if you're navigating something and you're discerning something, if it's with yourself or if you're blessed enough to have someone really close to you in your life that doesn't have an agenda for you, like I have a wife that lets me bounce things off her all the time. And it's incredible to have someone like that, that you can say, I just want to say what out loud yes or no to this and see what it feels like in my body and give yourself the space to do that and think about all the things and say, no, I'm not doing that and see the resonance in your body to that conclusive statement. And if there's some level of dis-ease within you as saying that, then maybe there's something else. There's another paradigm or perspective that's not been seen yet that you need to look from a different vantage point and say, maybe I'm missing it by saying a conclusive no. And you need more time with discernment. What's the rush? Sit with it. On the other hand, you may say a resounding no, that's not it. And your body will resonate vibrationally with relief. And that's how you know. Regardless if it looks like a stupid decision or not, say no and move on so that you can open yourself to the opportunities of yes. Yeah. Your body will tell you. Your vibration will tell you. It will resonate with the truth that is deep within you. And when you learn to trust yourself, when you learn to trust your yeses and trust your noes, it will develop the confidence that you need to navigate all of the jokers that want to align you to their plan. And you will be able to begin to live out God's plan through you that the divine is wanting to manifest the divine's self in you, through you, and as you. And if you don't have the power of no, we can walk around in circles and say, I've been here before. I've, I've walked around this mountain before. This looks eerily similar. Yeah, it's because you need to say no and walk down the path that's yours. And the power of no provides that ability and that opportunity for you to do so with confidence. This doesn't mean being arrogant. This doesn't mean flipping people off and being a jerk to people. It means a humble but powerful no so that you can be opened to your yes. Grace and peace, friends. Uh, Thank you for joining me here. Send me an email. Uh, Love hearing from you. And let's chat down in the comments.
See you on the next video.